In this video, we're gonna be talking about why you have pain above the kneecap and below the kneecap after your knee replacement. These are really common areas to have pain, even right after surgery, all the way up to one year post-surgery, people are having pain above and below the kneecap, especially with stairs going um, up and down stairs, especially down the stairs, uh, getting up and down from chairs, or just at the end of the day when you're tired, you're getting that pain above and below the kneecap. Sometimes the pain can present um, to the lateral side of the knee, the outside of the knee, or the inside of the, the knee as well. So this would be for somebody who's you know past that three month post-surgery mark. If you're having inside of the knee pain and you just had surgery, that's from the surgery itself. Those are those incisions that you're probably feeling. But if you are you know, beyond that three month mark and you're having pain on the outside of the knee or the inside of the knee, it possibly is due to um, weakness, which we will get into in a second. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dr. Samantha Smith. I am a knee replacement specialist. So all my social media is dedicated to knee replacement recovery and tips. Um, my YouTube here, please subscribe my Instagram my TikTok. I also have a free Facebook support group with thousands of people in the group who have this same exact pain that you are having um, and I also teach exercise classes I teach educational courses to help you with um, your recovery after your knee replacement or before your knee replacement just go to succeed courses.com to um, see all of my information my classes and courses so now let's get into the topic of the video. Why do you have that pain? So having pain above and below the kneecap is generally related to quad weakness. So quad weakness is normal after your knee replacement. You're going to have quad weakness. If you don't, you are the unicorn of the group and you are of that top 1% that does not have quad weakness. I, I've never seen somebody who doesn't have quad weakness though, so it's not very common to not have it. Um, the quad weakness is what causes the pain above and below the kneecap. And I'm gonna go into why you have pain above and below the kneecap. You can think of your quad muscle as a shock absorber, just like in your car, just like on a bike, you have shock absorbers so you don't ruin the parts of your car or your bike. You want that absorption into the shocks. Same thing with your knee. You can think of your quad muscle as shock absorbers. If you have a weak quad, then all that pressure is gonna go into this quad tendon, it's going to go into the kneecap, it's going to go into the knee joint, or it's going to go down here in the patellar tendon. This is the patellar tendon right below the kneecap. So this is what happens when you have knee arthritis. You probably had some quad weakness, which caused knee arthritis. All that absorption um, went into the joint itself instead of going into the muscle. If you are past age 30, you're going to have you know, residual muscle weakness that just happens as we age. If you've been weight training you know, for years and years prior to your knee replacement, maybe you, you didn't have any um, you know, significant quad weakness, maybe the arthritis was due to chronic inflammation in the joint from a previous injury. Uh, maybe you had a meniscus tear, or, you know, something like that was going on. You had a sports injury, that's gonna cause arthritis as well. Um, so there's different uh, reasons that we get knee arthritis Arthritis, it isn't just from quad weakness, but that is a big component of it when you um, don't have the muscle strength to absorb so shock and not get that constant um, force and pressure into the knee joint. So we have, I'm going to demonstrate here on my own leg. So this is the quad muscle right here. The top of the thigh is the quad muscle. I have my knee joint here. When this muscle is weak, all of the pressure is gonna go into the knee joint, especially when doing things like going up and down the stairs, getting in and out of chairs. All the pressure is gonna go into those areas in the tendon above the kneecap, below the kneecap, and the tissues on the side of the knee do not like to do that much work. They need help. They need the quad muscle to pick up the slack. They need some help. So we need to strengthen this quad muscle. Some beginning exercises that you can start with are just contracting that quad muscle. Do quad sets. You lay your leg just flat out in front of you and squeeze that quad muscle. Squeeze 
hold it for about three seconds and then relax. That's a great start with this type of exercise. You can put a pillow under your knee here and do some what's called short arc quads and just extend that leg out in front of you. Go right back down, extend and down. But those are level one exercises. If you can do those fairly easily, that's not the exercise for you. That's a level one, just to kind of prep the quad muscle. You need to get into more challenging exercises to help strengthen the quad. You can't do the same exercises over and over. One of my favorite exercises is stand up, sit down. This is one of my favorite quad exercises to do, especially if you're just starting out. You can use a chair and place a pillow into your chair, a nice thick pillow that's gonna raise you up just a little bit. Then all we're doing here, hopefully if you're able to cross your arms over your body and just stand up, and sit down and do that 10 times in a row, and that is going to strengthen the quad muscle. If you can't do that quite yet, you can use the arms of your chair to give yourself a little bit of a boost, but we want to use the leg muscles most. Your leg muscles are nice and big for a reason. They are able to lift you out of that chair. You just have to work towards it. Eventually the goal would be to get rid of the pillow and then do the stand up, sit down from a lower surface. Same thing, cross your arms and stand up and sit down. You'll do 10 repetitions of that. Then to progress that, once that gets easy and it's doable, you'll want to pick up a dumbbell. So this is a five pound dumbbell and you're gonna do the same exact thing, stand up, sit down. And most of the time when I give my patients a five pound dumbbell, they're like, oh my gosh, that is so heavy. Well, you probably have a dog that weighs more than five pounds and you carry your dog around with you um, or a gallon of milk you know, is pretty heavy too. It's, it's over five pounds. So you can lift five pounds. I know you can do it. So grab that five pound weight, hold it in both hands. Same thing, 10 times up and down. That's a great way to build the quad muscle. Eventually though, you need to do different exercises. You need to be working the quad in different ways to really build it up. And that's what I teach in my exercise classes. So if you're at least three months post-surgery, you're having issues with that above and below kneecap pain, side of the knee pain is still there. We need to get you on a good exercise program and that's what my exercise class is for. I teach you exactly what to do and I make the exercises just a little bit harder each week that we work together so you can build that quad muscle. So go to my website, succeedcourses.com to register for that exercise class. Let's get your knee pain under control so you can live your life as you want to. That's why you had your knee replacement, right? So succeedcourses.com. Thank you so much.